greatest gift God can give any, anyone. And his very self, and his very self in the Holy Eucharist. And he's given this gift in the Catholic Church. We Catholics are receiving the body and blood of Jesus Christ, the living God risen from the dead, alive, his divine flesh. That might sound strong, prideful, triumphalism, but it's truth. It's because no one can change bread and wine into the living God except God himself. And Jesus gave that power to the apostles at the Last Supper. Jesus said, do this in remembrance of me. He didn't mean that just for his time, but just for his apostles when they died, it was the end. He wanted to be passed on. So we Catholics are blessed with this great gift. But you know what? We failed miserably. Shameful in our appreciation for this gift, my gratitude for this gift, and my love for this gift. This gift is Jesus Himself. How many do not believe? How many are indifferent? Jesus told Saint Margaret Mary when He appeared to her that the indifference of His people concerning his presence with us in the most blessed sacrament caused him more suffering than anything else he suffered in, during his passion. More suffering than anything else in this whole passion was our indifference. One of the most powerful things we can do to manifest our love is to get on our knees and receive him as a child in Holy Communion, being fed by our, our spiritual father, the priest, and we say, I love you, Jesus. I love you. We need you, all of our brothers and sisters. We need the fallen away Catholics. We need the lukewarm Catholics. We need everyone to become a fire of love for Jesus. And in a particular way, Jesus among us in the Holy Eucharist. Jesus Eucharistic. We have fire of love. A Eucharistic revolution, a priest I know calls it. We need a Eucharistic revolution in the church which will start that flame of fire that will spread through the world. Make him a top priority, number one in your life. In fact, not just number one, but make him everything.